Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Schneever Earlier Craft Doctor, and I'm here today with a um, small haul video and a show and tell ish type video combined. So, this came as an auto ship, uh, the newest auto ship from Crafter's Companion, and it's the Decoupage book. And the good thing that I love about these is this can make those quick cards, the quick decoupages if you need something fast. Um, all you do is you take the die and each one of them are numbered and these the dies here have well they used to have numbers on them but they don't have numbers on them anymore um, I don't know if they didn't put them on there or what but you take these and you just lay them right over whatever uh, number it correlates with okay so this one is you can look at it there is the little piece sticking out and it you put it right over it there's a little bit of overlap so that well, bleeding is what it's called so you don't have to worry about it not fitting so you just look for that little nib part you see that little nib piece there and you put it right over the number. So that's how I start. I look for where the nib is and I put it over the number. And each one of them is, you do that for each one of these. And when you're done, you cut these out. So let me put these back where they go. <clears throat> okay. And, and you don't forget, you can go on the Crafters Companion website after you use up your booklet and print these out. So you're not just stuck with just these 48 pages. You can print these out. Um, but this is what it looks like when you're done. Just like that. And so these are all the individual pieces that make the decoupage unit. Okay. It also has a stamp that you, if you like to color, you can color this. And it's this one. It's this piece the stamp looks like. Okay, so it's that one and it's exact match, an exact match. So if you wanted to color this piece because you like the color and you just wanted to decoupage on this one piece, you have that option wherever this goes, <laughs> wherever it goes on there. So you have that option so you can color it and show your own background for it, which is really nice. I really love that. And then with this set, you also get a frame die. It's a four by six. So you can make those four by six card bases with this. Um, you can make the four by six easel card. And this die has, this has four dies in it. Um, the, the outer layer, this is just cuts in. This cuts the second layer. And then the two inner layers. You can either cut it without it or cut it with it and it'll make a circle. It doesn't matter however you do it. So we're going to do a design like this later, right, with this dot. Okay? So how the decoupage works, if you haven't seen this before, because this is the second round of, the second round of, um, different flowers I have the other ones um, you put your main you cut out your main piece which is this one okay let's see yeah okay you cut out your main piece and then you pop dot this piece I already did that I already put some pop dots on here so it depends on you how deep you want it how tall you want it I don't like mine very tall but so I would use smaller uh, pop dots than the ones I used on this one. And I also wouldn't use all the layers at one time. So for me, that is enough. That would be enough layering for me. But if you wanted to keep going, you can always keep going. And take off the... I mean, do the next step and you basically look where that next feed is. And so that will be right here.
see for me I think that this step is kind of unnecessary and I say that only because all I left out was this part off of this second decoupage so that second row really is just it's you don't really need it in my opinion I think that's just something extra okay and if you notice I'm not doing the taking off the middles because that's really not in my opinion necessary I don't usually take off all the pop dots and okay and so now see this piece here goes like this which now you have this flower that's not decoupaged. So, so far, that's where we are. So see, I would go from this one, maybe to this one, and then that one, and leave off that one in the middle. And then you have this small one here, which is the last layer, which is only, which is only this one. And it fits perfectly and so I would you see how thick my my um pads are I would advise using something thin like stamping up so it's just not quite this tall because that's a lot of layering going on that's a lot of layering going on but it depends on what you're looking for see for me I would dismantle most of this So if I was putting this together, I would definitely start out with this layer. I would definitely not use this layer. I would go straight to this. I will go straight to that. I wouldn't use this top layer. But I mean the second layer, but I would go straight to this layer. So look how beautiful that ended up being. Three layers, but you got the decoupage effect with these flowers and this flower. And so I think that would be beautiful without using these two. So in, in tech, technically, if you color your color that die set, then put this on there from one set, you could get two sets of decoupaging. See that? Hey, put it on right, Shaniva. There we go. Okay, so see, you get two sets of decoupaging when you put this on with this stamp set. So that's how I would do it, which whenever I use them, I do break these up like that. So... That's this kit. Okay. And then I wanted to show you this. I, I purchased these from, who is this? Scrapbook.com. And these are the score tools for the I Want It All. Y'all know before, when I went um, to the Mega Meet, which those videos will be coming up, um, I got to get it over to the editor so you may see the second part of the mega meat before you see the whole mega meat because yeah i'm slow so i bought this um yeah let's take it out like that okay so i bought this i want it all to and then i realized that hsn where are the um blades where are the blades and so i was not happy that i was not able to find the blades so I checked everywhere um, that I could think of and no blades. Even We Are Memory Keepers were out of these blades. And so I bought these from scrapbook.com and I bought six of them with three packs. I bought three packs of them 
so that I would not run out. And so I just want to make sure that this is the right blade because there's two different, um, the works. The one, the first one is this color. Every YouTube video that I found had this color one and not this new one. And so let's see. Oh, yep, that's the right blade. Okay, so let's let's just make sure this cuts. Oh, yep, that's that blade. Okay, so I ordered um, three packs of these um, just to make sure that I had some blades. So when I start back going to the scrapbooking store and doing my scrapbooking nights, I had some blades for it and I might just go order another set of three um, just to have them because when you cannot cut because you don't have a blade, what happens? We buy another trimmer and another trimmer. Y'all know how we do. We buy another trimmer and we, that's why we all have 10 trimmers around the house. I, I swear to goodness, I do have a lot of trimmers. My information on the back of that. I literally have um right at my workstation i literally have one two three three trimmers four three or four trimmers at my workstation and <laughs> so yes they do different things kind of because some are mini some are bigger but it's it's the blade factor so even my stampin up one i have extra blades now because for a while, I could not find, I could, they were out of stock. So I buy some extra. So then the next thing I want to show you is my newest thing. And I showed you this on um, the haul video where I purchased the diamond dot. And so yesterday or the day before, I worked on the little teddy and it's a greeting card. And I'm going to hold this card and give it to, um, add it with my gift for my newest grandbaby uh, that's due in March. Yes, we're going to be working on that next grandchild. My son, um, girlfriend is having a little girl. So Parker is going to have a new playmate. So this card I'm going to give to her. I thought that would be really pretty to go with the baby's gift. And so I did this diamond dot painting um, yesterday. And let's put this up here where I know where it's at. And then this one I did today. I literally was like, okay, I'm going to sit down and do this and see how long it, it will take me. And literally, I think it took me, even with me getting up and doing other stuff, two hours. I got up and was doing other stuff. And it only had five colors. These shiny ones here, that's called a Borealis ABs, make this look so much better because they were the last ones that I did. And these looked good, but when I put these on there, it popped really well. So I ordered um, from Diamond Dots Club, Diamond Art Club, I ordered two... No, I did not. I went to craft, craft, craftability, craftly. Cra I don't know. When they get here, I will definitely do a haul video. But I ordered two more sets so I can um, start doing them um, because it it helps your brain slow down. Um, I have a problem with I have so much going on and I never rest my brain, and so this helped helped me to slow down because even doing my crafting is not a slow down thing anymore because I do YouTube videos. And so I'm always thinking, would these look right? How would this look? Would people enjoy it? You know, that kind of stuff, you know, am I giving good information? So my mind is still working, but when I was doing this, I was not thinking about anything major or anything like that. And so I think that this came out gorgeous. Um, I, I'm going to give this to my um, sister. Um, I haven't seen her in a while. And so I'm going to give this to her. I'm going to mail it. So um, 
Laura doesn't look at this, uh, my channel, so she won't know. So I'm going to write a nice note in there. And this is also a card. And this is one of the ones I, the one I, that showed you in the haul video that I got from the Great Lakes Mega Meet. And they have gotten me into doing the diamond dot. I'm so excited. I really like this. Like I needed another crafting hobby. But I did contact um, Diamond Dots Corporation today because if I'm going to have all of these Diamond Dot paintings, which you can remember I did a haul with um, the other day and for this one, but if I'm going to have a bunch of haul pictures, all of these Diamond Dots to relax, I'm going to use them as auction pieces for my nonprofit and I got the approval today that we can sell I can sell these even though it's auctiony but I can sell my finished diamond dot painting so I'm going to do that I have to estimate how many hours is going to take me to finish something like this because this costs $25 by itself so it's not going to be an auction where oh we're going to auction this off for $30 not happening <laughs> We're going to put a real total based on the time it takes and the art and the cost and all of that kind of stuff and all the extras. And then I had all of these little bitty gems left over. Like this, out of those two packs, I had all of these left over. And I'm like, what do I do with these? And I decided that I'm going to use them with my shaker cards. These will make great shaker bits in shaker cards and so because i don't need them for anything else because they give you so much extra when you're working with your project that you have so much extra and i know i've heard that a lot of people throw them away but that's crazy this is good diamonds property i'm going to use these with sequence and put them in my shaker cards so guess what I'll be making? You got it, shaker cards. So I will get some of my shaker, um, some of my shaker um, dies, window dies, and we're gonna use these to make some shaker cards. So, all right, so I'm gonna get started on my next diamond painting and I will, let you know if it's really helping me relax because people say it really helps you relax and I just need to see if that's true because for me I still will find a way to make this hectic or something so um that's it for this video um I will um come back and show you some work inner workings of me doing this and show you the progress it's not very big what is what me most people say this is considered a snack or something because it's not the whole thing it's just the butterfly that i'm doing so all right then thank you so much and i will see you in the next one